Hello everyone, welcome to Pathway Club Online. It's been such a long time since we've been able to meet together for Pathway Club on Friday evenings in the church. And we hope you're keeping well and that you're enjoying the sunshine and that you enjoy this program. But first of all, we're going to sing, Blessed Be the Name of the Lord. do the memory verse. But before we dive into this memory verse, let's just say it, say it together. Okay? And I have a little contingent of the Pathway Club here to help me out. Very good. Okay, let's say this together. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10 verse 13. Very good. Okay, but I wonder, what does it mean to call on the name of the Lord? We don't really talk about calling on people's names very often, do we? Well, to explain that, I want, I want to ask you a question. Do you, do you sometimes borrow mummy uh, or daddy's phone to call granny or granda or maybe even one of your friends? Well, my, my daughters do and sometimes they run off with the phone. But I want to show you my I want to show you my phone my contacts list. So okay. So here here we have here we have my contacts and we have uh, dad mom and you know you would have granny or granda maybe on your phone and uh, uh, or on the phone and maybe a couple of friends. But how do you call on someone? Well, you go and tap on the name, and then you tap call. So that's how, that's how you call on somebody on a phone. But how, how do we call on God or on the Lord? We can't really use a phone to talk to God, can we? How do we talk to God? We talk to him by praying. Very good. Um, but, it may, but calling on the name of the Lord means something a little bit more than just talking to God. It means talking to God and asking for help. But why, why would we need help from God? What, what's, what's our big problem in life that we have? The big problem that we have is that we do wrong things. And we have a word for that, sin. And that's, that, and that's a problem, it separates us from God. But do you think that God can help us with that problem, with that sin problem? Yes, he can. And that's what the second part of the verse talks about. It says that everyone who calls on the name will be saved. God will help everyone, uh, everyone who calls on his, on his name and save them. So everyone who says to God, I know I've done wrong, 
I don't want to do wrong anymore. Can you help me? God will help them. God will save them. Um, and they will live with God forever. So let's go through this through this memory verse piece by piece and um, uh, take out some words here. So the first thing that I did was I took out some of the words and replaced them with icons. Okay. Do you think that you could say it through with me now? Say let's say, let's say it all together. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, verse 13. Very good. Um, for the name of the Lord, I put a cross there, which represents Jesus. Um, of course, Jesus is how God saves us. So do you think that you could do it now without the icons? Let's give that a try. Let's say that all together. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10 verse 13. Very good. Now, this time I want to do it without the word everyone. But that's a really important word in this. It's, a, it's important not to forget this because it means that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. It doesn't matter what you've done. Uh, it doesn't matter what you've done. God can save you. Okay, so let's that, say that story without the word everyone. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Great, you're doing well. So we don't really have a lot of words left anymore. So let's just take all those words away. It's getting a bit difficult, isn't it? So let's say that together. Everyone who calls on the name will be saved. Name of the Lord will be saved. Thank you. Okay, I got tripped up there, but I think we can. I think we can do this a step further. Do you think we can do it without the verse? Let's do, let's do that. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, verse 13. Brilliant. There you go, you've learned it. Okay, so now we're going to read, now we're going to sing uh, a song now, all through history. Great.
everyone. Great to see you again. It's been ages. I wonder, have you been bored uh, inside all the time with just your family, missing your friends? Or has it been okay for you? I don't know. But today's story is a true story from the Bible about someone who didn't go out of the place they lived for a very long time. They didn't go out to play, they couldn't go out to the shops, and they didn't even see their friends uh, all the time. For our family in today's story, they were stuck inside, but strangely, they had an awful lot to do. They never got bored. We had in our family, locked inside, one daddy, and one mummy, uh, three sons, and their three wives. But inside, there were also a few other things. Hands up, who has a pet? Maybe you've got a cat or a dog or a, a gerbil or uh, something like that. Well, this family spent lockdown with two kinds of every animal on the earth. And uh, some they took seven inside too, but, but mostly just two of every kind. What's your favourite animal? Yeah, uh, tell, tell me, what, what's your favourite animal? Well, I love the monkeys. <laughs> I love them. Or maybe you prefer the sheep. What noise do sheep make? <coughs> well, imagine looking after all of the animals, feeding them, keeping them happy. What type of house would be able to have all these animals in? It would be like going to the zoo. Who's been? Hands up. Who's been to the zoo? Yeah, I'm sure many of you had. Well, there was a very special reason that these people were living with all these animals. We'll find out why soon. But I've got a different question for you now. I've got a thing that some of you may have been on. Let's see. Here it is here, uh, here it is, and let's see who has been on this uh, big boat. Hand, hands up if you've been on this big, big boat. It's huge! It has hundreds of people on board. It has lots of cars. It has big, big lorries and buses and lots of things on board. But for the family in today's story, they lived on an even bigger boat than that. It was ginormous! But why did they live in a boat? I don't think you live in a boat and I don't live in a boat. So why were they living in a boat? Well, God said that he made the whole world very good. Nothing was wrong with it. But soon, years later, he noticed that it wasn't like that anymore. Humans, people like me and you, they started to do wrong things. They started to think wrong things, and they started to say wrong things too. They started to reject God's way. God called that sin. Small sins, maybe just like hating somebody else or saying something nasty to your brother or sister, soon became bigger sins and horrible things were going on in the world. Oh dear. 
Wow. Here's a picture of some of the really nasty things that were happening at that time. What's going on? Hands up. Have you ever hit your brother or sister? What did your parents say about it? But I hope you said sorry afterwards. But these people were so horrible that they never said sorry. They just kept on being violent, hitting and fighting and oh, they were terrible. Even, I'll tell you a secret, even killing each other. If you've been watching the news, you'll know that we should never kill someone, even if they're very different to us. God said it was evil. God said it was enough. But God did say that he would make a way for people who followed him and said sorry to be safe. You see, God said that one day he would send a flood on the earth. Water that would go splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash on all of the earth from the clouds. He said that it would get so bad that the water would come up and up and up. But he also said that anyone who said sorry and followed him would be safe. And so this family started to do what God said. I want you to help me with this. Let's see, what were the family doing? They were going chop, 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 chop. Chip, 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 chip. Bam, bam, bam. Bash, 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 bash. They were making a big boat. Go on, help them out. Do those noises. Chop, 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 chop. Chip, 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 chip. Bam, 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 bam. Bash, bash, bash. I'm sure such a huge boat took ages to build. And everyone at the time must have thought it was really funny. Look, it's really sunny up there. Why are you building a big boat? But uh, this family were faithful to God. And soon God helped them bring all of the different kinds of animals from round the earth uh, to their boats. Look, can you spot some of them? Squawk! Squawk! What was that? What was that? Ah, there's the parrots, and look, there's the lions, and the pigs, and the sheep, all going on to the big, big boat, where they were safe. Safe from the rain, safe from God's judgments. And it did rain. Look, not just a little bit. Oh no, oh no. Drop, 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 drip, 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 turned into plop, 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 plip, 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 goose, 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 slosh, 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 splash, splash, splash. And the flood water started to rise. And then the people realized why Noah and his family had built this big boat. God was judging the earth for all the wrong things that they had done. But those who trusted God and followed his way survived. For 40 days it rained, over one month, raining and raining and raining. So the water came up and up. But boys and girls, it was all good. Noah was safe. Hooray! But there's some bad news. You see, God says we've all done bad things. Perhaps not as bad as the people in Noah's day, but still, God says that if we want to get to his perfect world, 
if we want to get to this perfect world, well, it's bad news because we've all done wrong. We can't go to heaven to be with God forever because of our sin problem. But there is good news. When God says that he will judge the world one day, not, not like he did with Noah, but still he will judge the world one day, he promises that he'll make a way for us to be safe. That, just like we've been learning, what was it? Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Whoever calls and follows Jesus will be saved from their sin problem. Well, isn't that good news for me and for you? I hope you'll trust Jesus and follow his way and be safe. But let's find out what happens at the end of our story. Uh, let's see. Well, the flood uh, was on for 40 days and uh, there it is. But soon the water started to go down and it was a long, long wait. 150 more days, nearly half a year to wait um, while the water went down, gurgle, 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 glug, glug, glug. And soon Noah thought he saw land out to sea. And so he started sending birds out uh, to see whether the birds could find anywhere to land or uh, anything to bring back. And soon a dove uh, did bring back a little uh, branch and uh, no one knew that it was going to be fine for him and his family and all the animals to live on the earth again. And there they are, safe, safe, safe. And God promised something. God said, I will always, always, always keep my promises. And I will never, never, never flood the whole earth again, ever. And you know how God uh, said that he would uh, remind us of that? He said, I'm going to make a rainbow in the sky so that you can remember that I am good and I will never, never, never flood the world again. And so that's great, boys and girls, isn't it? Can anyone think, where have you seen a rainbow recently? Yeah, some of you have even made rainbows recently and put it in your windows. Well, that's because we want to remind each other that God is good and that even in hard times, he will always, always, always keep his promises. And God promises that anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That you or me, if we follow Jesus's way, we'll go to be with him in heaven one day and avoid his judgment forever and ever. So thanks for listening so well. Um, that's the, uh, uh, that is the end of our story for today. I hope you've been listening because we're about to have a quiz soon um, and I'm looking forward to being back together in Pathway Club soon. So see you soon. Hello boys and girls. We really hope that you enjoyed Peter's story that he's told us today and um, we hope you're listening well because now we've got our quiz and we are going to have some questions on the story so we hope you're listening well. So some of you might have seen this quiz before. This is our ripe or rotten quiz. So we've got a, a tree with lots of apples on it and some of the apples are ripe but some of them are rotten and have worms in them so you don't want to get any rotten apples. You just want to get ripe apples your team. So we've got two teams. We've got Esther's team and we've got Nathan's team. So you decide at home if you want to be on Esther's team or if you want to be on Nathan's team and you cheer on whoever's on your team. Uh, cheer them to get a ripe apple for your team and whoever gets the most ripe apples is the winning team. And then at the end we're going to have a special question for you at home because uh, um, then you can answer it and you can get a grown-up to text me the answer and you'll get a special prize. Okay so 
and we'll start off with Nathan's team. Nathan, why did God send? Well done, yes, because the people were very evil. Nathan, you picked a, an apple. So let's hope it's a ripe one. So ripe, 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 ripe. Oh, it's a rotten apple. Okay, right, next question is for Esther's team. So, Esther, who did God choose to build the ark? You have to think about that. Who did God choose to build the ark? Noah. That's right, God chose Noah to build the ark, okay? So, can you pick an apple and I hope you get a right one? Right, 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 right. Oh, well done, a right apple, brilliant. Okay, Nathan, are you ready for the second question? How many people did God save in the ark? Yes. Yes, eight people. That's well done. Well done. done. So right, right, right. Right. Oh, right. Well done, right. Yes. Well done. Okay, so question for Esther's team. How many of each kind of animal did God tell me what to take onto the ark? Two. That's right. He took a pair of animals on the ark. So could you choose an apple now? Get a right one. Right, 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 right. Oh, well done. It's a right one. Brilliant. Okay, Nathan. Last question for you. How many days did it rain for? Um, 40. Yes. Well done. Right, 40 days. Right. Oh, yes. Right, right one. Well done. And Esther, this is your last question. How did no one know that the flood was going away? He sent out a dove which returned. That's right. Noah sent a dove out, as we heard in the story, and it came back with them all. Right, 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 Okay, Nathan, can you tell me how many ripe apples you have? Two. Nathan's team has two ripe apples. How many does Esther's team have? Two. Two. Oh, it's a draw. Oh, it's a draw. Well done. Well done. So we have one final question, boys and girls, for you at home. Um, so the question is, what sign did God put in the sky to remind us of his promise not to flood the earth again? I'll say it one more time. What sign did God put in the sky to remind us of his promise not to flood the earth again. So if you know the answer to that question, get somebody to text in to me and you will get a prize. Thank you so much for joining us for our quiz today. Boys and girls, we hope you've enjoyed watching our online Pathway Club. We've really missed you at Pathway these last few months. If you normally come along on a Friday night to Pathway Club, you should have received a pack with a magnet with our memory verse on it to help you to learn the verse and also a craft which is a rainbow magnet so you can colour in this rainbow and uh, put the magnet on the back and that will help you to remember the story that we learnt today and about God's promise. Thank you for joining us. We plan to do another online pathway club next month so look out for that. Goodbye.